In an hour north of Columbus, a grieving community in Manchester pulling together after tragedy. They're showing their love and support to the family of twins who died in a recent house fire. Newsletter 9's Khalees McGee joins us live in Manchester in front of the house where the tragedy unfolded. And Khalees, how is this community holding up after the difficult losses and having a special event tonight? Jason, people are still very emotional as they process the deaths of 10 year old twins, Brianna and Brian Childs. You see here, they've started this memorial to honor the child's lives. And just a few hours ago, they gathered to light candles. We love y'all, BJ and Bri. Always. A family broken. <laughs> and a community bonded by a tragedy they'll never forget. Flames engulfed this home here on Ira Park's way Sunday morning with a mother and a twin brother and sister inside. The mother is recovering at an Atlanta hospital, but her children were not so fortunate. I went to work on Monday. I just, I couldn't stay there. Just knowing that we lost them, I prayed so hard for them to get out the house. They didn't one of them, but the earned didn't. And just knowing that Bree was there, it killed me here. Ten-year-old Brian Childs died when he arrived at the hospital, but his sister Brianna was found dead inside the charred home. Walk out, the first thing I look at is up here, like wide old babies. I always laugh about Bree. She was the little girl. She was just, she was just amazed. She loved animals. She loved dogs. She loved cats. So she was a very amazing little girl. Victoria Favors and other neighbors plan this candlelight vigil Friday night in front of the home. That we just wanted to show our love for the family, for the father and the mother especially, and for those kids. No, it will not bring the kids back, but we just want to show that we support Jamie and her family and the father's side of the family. As this family and community mourn, they are leaning on each other for healing. And Jason, the father was in attendance during the vigil with few words, but tears streaming down his face and other family members were also visibly crying. Victoria Favors asked for everyone to keep this family in their prayers. Reporting in Manchester, I'm Khalees McGee for WTVM. News leader not it certainly appears like a very raw emotional night. Uh, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with the family losing these twins. Our right, thank you, Khalees.